YouTubers back again. Oh, I'll have to tell you what happened to me yesterday. I had to add black coffee. They run out of um, milk. Right, oh, there's Suki there. She is. That's it. Close up of Suk. <clears throat> yesterday. Oh, um, I'm going to give you a warning. <clears throat> My throat. I'm going to give you a warning. If you're eating, if you got strong stomach, because I'm going to put the pictures at the end of the video. I'm not put, I put it at the end, so I'm just giving you a warning. It was a mess yesterday. So if you're eating, watch it afterwards. If you've got a strong, if you haven't got a strong stomach, I wouldn't watch it. Um, if you're about to eat, either eat after or before, because the pictures, they, they won't be long pictures. They'll be just like I do floating pictures. But I thought I'll let you know what's happened. Kev is really upset because he recommended, and I saw him today, and I told him it's not your fault. He's really upset about it because he didn't expect that and there was a lady i was i went and done it yesterday to clean the house now she said deep clean i didn't realize i don't know she should have said deep shit clean because i used to do i used to do self-employed and i used to do <clears throat> cleaning and what happened was my car broke down because it was automatic. It broke down and I didn't have the money to pay because I was just self-employed. I did it for about a year and the car went. I didn't have enough to do it because the gearbox cost a thousand. So that, But I used to clean houses and I went to this lady's house. It was all women always. Like Kev said, you usually expect that to be a man. But I went to this lady and I said, you need professional clean. I said, because when I used to do cleaning, when I used to do care work and we did cleaning, there would be six people, three upstairs, three downstairs. And I said to her, you need professional. I said, you need machine and the proper stuff. She said, oh, OK, because it was really a mess. But this one I went yesterday. I, t I nearly walked out and I thought, no, I'm not like that. Because I'm going to put the pictures before and w after what I did. That was the kitchen. I went in. She said to me, don't let the cat out. She, she said she got four cats, but one died. She got three. She said, don't let the cat out or the dog out. Don't open the windows. <clears throat> the only thing I felt sorry for was the pets because she, her mother, she could have said, you need help, mom. You better go in either a nursing home and get people to help because it's a three bedroom. If it was their whole house, they could have got somebody to clean it up and sell it. But I felt sorry for the pet because when I opened the door to throw, because I had five bags of rubbish and she had, because in, because I call it clothes horse, but she said the maiden. I had to throw that. The cat was dying to get out, and I couldn't blame the cat. He was trying to run out, and I had to pick him up and put him back in the dog. I felt sorry for them. I walked in, and I, I knocked, because I, I had last £10, and that used for taxi, because that was supposed to kept to buy some, because yesterday I just had some chocolate, and because I'm living on Greg's, because my partner works at Greg's, and get discount. And I used my £10 to get up there, took the taxi, and he was good, he dropped, and it cost £10, I give him a tip. I went in through the door, I said, I come to clean, she said, yeah, I went through the door, I couldn't believe it, the mess, it was just covered in dog and cat shit. That's what it was covered in, cat and dog shit. She let the cat and dog shit everywhere. So I went through, I thought, oh, when I went in the kitchen, I tell you, I went, oh no, my God. I said to myself, does Kev know what, what um, he said cleaning? Because he, he recommend me, say she's good. And, the, and I messaged the daughter. I said, you know, this is a lot. I said, I'll be here for about three to four weeks. She said, okay, Kev said you're good. I said, okay. I nearly turned back and said, no, I couldn't do it. And I thought, well, I need the money to pay for here. So I'm not going to, I'm not one of those work child. We will work because people give me a job. Even I can't read and write, I will work because I do care work i've done cleaning i'm not ashamed because i remember once when i finished care work the girl was laughing at me and she said you do care work oh god and the man turned around and he said you know she's a prostitute he said you're doing care work you're doing good i said yeah so i'm not um one of these people oh i won't work if i get paid i will work even i can't read and write i will work because i was brought up to do that you don't get nothing you don't get anything for nothing even if they said to me here you can stay in this hotel, but you have to do the cleaning in there. I would do it. I'm not saying, oh, no, I would. I'll go around and clean all the hotel rooms. But, and I went in, like I said, the kitchen was filthy. 
she had the whole way it was full up with shit and everything she the dog and the cat shit there i went upstairs my god there was human shit everywhere the bed she got three bedrooms shit shit that's all it was she just shit because as you know i got nowhere to wash clothes so when i come out my coat stink so I come back, I took everything off shower. Good job I didn't wear this, because this would take a long time to dry. I thought, no, I just wear thin. I couldn't take my coat off. So I come back, I hang the coat there to take the dog out, because I went there at 2 o'clock. I didn't get back here till after, after I think it was after 7. Yeah, about that, because when I come back, it was about half six, quarter to 7, I think it was. Because um, I messaged Kev, we talk, because... We talk and he said, Angie, you're miles away. He said, don't walk. It take. So I asked Paul to send me a fiver for bus fare because I didn't have no money to get back. I spent it all going there. And like Kev said, she should have she should have um, sent you money for your taxi or bus fare. So I did it. I went upstairs and looked and I thought, Jesus. And I come down, I said to the mother, I said, look, I'll have to keep coming back. She said, okay. So I stopped and done it. I done the kitchen. I cleaned it all. The stuff, everything, the litter, I put it in bag, five bag, clean it. I done the kitchen top, I done the floor, everything. And it was getting late. I look, I thought, well, the dog's been here that long in the hotel. You don't mind your own home, but when it's in a hotel room, you don't know if she was barking or anything. They could say, well, you left your pet there, you're not allowed to. Because <clears throat> it's decent of them, let me leave in the cat when I go out. <clears throat> and I thought to myself, this day is wasted because I could have been walking around looking for places and phoning up for flats. So, okay, and then I thought, well, <clears throat> I thought um, at the end I'll get paid anyway. She said she'd do um, bank transfer, so I'm not very good. So what I did, I didn't send her the back. I sent her the front of my card, my bank card, so she could send the money through. So I sent her, I said, yeah, the, the um, card. <clears throat> so I expect when I finish, I get money. So I checked my phone app, nothing. So I messaged her. She said, I'll be paying you £80 Thursday. So she's going to pay me £80 a week to clean that. So I told Kevin, he said, no, and she said, tell her to send you that money because you're staying out, you need it. Does she know your situation? I said, yeah, she does. She know I'm in the hotel, temporary accommodation, looking for somewhere to live. And I don't know the area. And I spent my last tenner going up there. So he said, well, message her. So I've been messaging her and she said, oh, sorry, I'll try. She said, I can't pay until Thursday, £80. So she's going to pay me £80 a week for that. And when you see the, the mess, you will realise, thinking, no, that's more than £80. Because professional clean, like Kev said, that would be a couple of thousand there. Oh, it was it was really, yeah. I don't know how she could have left her mother to live like that. It was bad. And I'm telling you, when I was cleaning the bit on the edge, as you can see where the cat was looking up, and the um, the edge, I was... Even that's how bad the smell was. I was even because if you see them programs on telly, um, what is it called? Mock, mock or something. The house clean. They got the mask and the clothes and the thing on the shoes. Cause I come back, I had to wash my boots in the shower because it was just full up of shit, and I had to. I just vacuum here and everything sprayed. But I live in this little room, two cats and a dog, and I clean it. They came yesterday because she said, "Oh, you've been here a week." She came yesterday. And when she come in, she done the bed. She said, oh, it's nice and clean. I said, yeah, that's why I told you to leave the vacuum. I vacuum it. But she, she sat in the sitting room. And then the the mother cried. She said she don't even phone. She left me here on me on and she's in Ireland. And I thought, oh, that that's bad, that is. And now she don't want to pay. So I think what she wants me to do the job all week, do it. And then maybe not pay me. So, no, I was supposed to go back today. I thought, no, she's not paid. I'm not going back. And and if, when you see the picture, you will realise that, God, because even Kev said, he said he wouldn't even send his wife there to clean. He didn't realise how bad it was. He feel bad. Because I saw him today. He said, oh, my God. He said, I feel bad sending you there. He said, I didn't know. I said, it's not your fault. You didn't realise. Because if you knew he wouldn't, he would have told her to get professional cleaning. So she expect me to do that for £80. Okay, I know money is money, but that is, if you've seen it yourself, if you've seen it, you would have said, no, and I wouldn't do it myself. I wouldn't even stop there and clean that hours because I was there from two till, I come out at quarter to six. So what the hours out, how long I was there and the smell when I come out to wash my hair and everything. Because it had that, you know, like that shit smell. It was horrible. It was just, oh. 
I don't know. Um, I've worked in some places. I've worked in hospitals. I've worked in um, nursing home, but there was nothing like that. The smell was terrible. I don't know. I never smell a dead person. I don't know. God. And she had the food there. She had half about the whiskey, everything. But as you can see, I put the before and then the after. And when I send the picture to the daughter, because that's what I do. They tell you always when you do cleaning, take the pictures and show people so they know that before and after. And I, when I first start cleaning the woman, say, always take pictures because they can say, well, no, you didn't do it because it was already like that. So you got proof. And always keep them because if people say, oh, you're not paying well, you she not pay you because there was nothing much to do. But when when I sent it to Kevy, he was shocked. And that was half. I didn't take upstairs picture because I would have, if I carried on, I would have took upstairs. That was downstairs. That was the kitchen. The sitting room where she, well, no, I didn't take picture there where she was. That was the kitchen. The other room, because it's a funny house, you go in, there's like a where you put your coats and that, then you go upstairs. But that side by the door, there was a room there, that's the picture of the room. And then the kitchen where the cat's looking up, that was there on the side. And then the bed where I think she used to sleep, then she went in the other room. And yeah, so I feel sorry for the... But, Human being, you think, well, they should know better. Because we human being, we know better. It's like me now. I'm here. It's not the cats and the dogs. I dragged them all the way to Liverpool. It's not their fault. So it's my responsibility to keep them safe. I try my best to keep them safe and everything. But to do that to an animal, three cats and a dog, to let them live like that, that's bad. RSPCA would take them away from her because it's not now that they should be clean. The poor cat, when I fed them, I, f I feed them because I'm an animal lover. I wouldn't, because the cat was in my way. I just lift it up and put it away. The dog was out the way. And I fed her. She said, have you fed the cat? I say, yeah, because when I clean, I make sure the place clean. I fed her. I thought, like me, I wouldn't like to eat like that. So I fed the cat. And they were so hungry. They was fighting each other. So I feed, she had three cats. So I fed one bowl each. And then before I left, I fed the cat again. I, did, I fed the dog once. I didn't know if the dog, I should have fed the dog again, but... I just wanted to get out, so I fed the cat. She said, I said, yeah, I fed the cat and the dog. I give them water, left it there to clean, so that. But looking at that, if I was stupid enough to go back to there again, it would be the same because she would have left the dog to shit in there. I would have to clean that again and then do extra. So I'll be doing more and more all the time. And she said, when you um, finish, I'll keep you on and you can just on top of it. On top of that, cut. Oh, honestly. So that was the day yesterday. So, yeah. So today I was supposed to go for a viewing. Changing the subject. I was supposed to go viewing. What happened? The man messaged me last night when I come back. I did a good job because I would have gone. I would have um, maybe got up some money off Paul or somewhere. And I would have gone up and he said, what happened? They had a leak. And the bay window's been scraped and they had to do it. He said, there's no view until 1st of March. So I messaged him. I said, well, I need somewhere. I said, but um, keep me, keep me um, informed. And then if I get somewhere I'm not like, I can always go and have a look. But I had a message yesterday and they said, I got a view in tomorrow. Would I want to attend? It's above a um, photography shop. It's a, they call it studio flat, but I say one, I say bed sit. So it's a big sitting room with kitchen. It's got the cooker. So that'd be good. It's It's got a kitchen, sitting room and bed. So it's like this. But what I would do, I'll get a second hand sofa bed and just put. And then you got your shower and toilet. So that'd be all right. Anything I don't care. It's above a um, photography shop. So I've got that one. The one I've got on um, Friday, that's good. That's got a cooker, a fridge and a washing machine in there. And it's a one bedroom flat. And they both of them are £400. So my budget was five. Because I'll get help paying the rent. I pay some, they pay some. So that's it. But yeah. So that's, yeah. So hopefully tomorrow I'll see if they get back to me. I tried to phone the council today. But their number's out. Because they said that you still put in. This man to you're not connected. Is you still put. Because the man said you. How oh, long you live here now? He said, well, you're living in Liverpool. So just still. So I'm trying to do that. And yeah, so I've got the last night here. So I'll have to see what I can do tomorrow to try and pay find some money to pay because i expect that woman pay me i thought well i can pay a couple of more nights but she said tomorrow maybe she won't even pay so if that's going to be tuesday wednesday thursday 80 pound 
I'm not good at math. So what, what is she paying? So is she going to pay £80? She said do a standing order and every week you get £80. No, that's that's bad, that is. Even Kev said that's, no, he said that it should be more. He said even £100 a day. Because that, that, sh that shit, oh, three weeks I would have to be there. And then going all the time. <laughs> no, so, yeah, so that was it. That's what I said, people tell me about job, I go and do it and... Yeah, that, that's what happened. So, see what today brings. I'm going to go out in a minute. Just having a coffee. I saw Kevy, saw the dog. He liked her. She was, um, she was, all, I thought she was going to jump, but she didn't. She was all right. And everybody's okay. So, we just have to see what happened tomorrow. So, just seeing what's going on now. And um, I just have to see. I'm just trying to get some weight. So, it's just, there's, empty buildings everywhere but nobody i found a couple yesterday and they said um get back to me one I, i'm still waiting for her to get back one said they're gonna phone and yeah so tomorrow i just need somewhere i don't care as long as it's just somewhere i can go in and out and then that's it start because i've put in some more jobs there was another job there i put and yeah so oh it's just um just worrying so i try not to get too much down but yeah so i'll let you have a look at the pets the dogs under the bed again but the cats so i switch it around so you can see them yep so there's smudge that's asleep see they're on the bed but she as you can see she's under the bed again <laughs> and the cat and suki she's still on that bag yes i'll have to take as you can see like i said i did show before like me i in this one room see i'll make sure my clothes are washing and everything so one room and that, that's it i've got two cat and a dog here and look how clean it is and i've got medical stuff there stuff and the numbers i'm phoning and everything and i wash see because that coat out to wash so the other one i'm washing it's in there and yeah so you can keep right there's no to keep them um, place clean it's not hard there she is suki suk suki you like that bag don't you suk she's got that she used to um when i throw it she used to bring it back and i used to throw she used to in it and that's the liquor we had i brought with her and that toy that sharon got in the bone and the smudge this much smudgy yeah, so over there, the food and um, the dogs under there. And, uh, let me see. Yeah, that's her. She always go under the bed. Yep, she always go under the bed. I don't know what she like. Oh, I'll have to get something that's um, high off for her to go under. She always under the Maybe it's like a den or something. So, yeah, <clears throat> still got the mug. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to wrap it up and I go. So yeah, so still looking for somewhere to live. God, I can't believe it'd be um two weeks I've been here soon. Because today is Wednesday, so tomorrow Thursday, see, quick. That's why I said to Paul, if I can um last it out for six months, then they will um said I'm connected because six months and you're connected to the city. So see how quick it's going already. So I just need somewhere and then that's it. Next thing you know, it'll be Christmas. So it goes quick. Just have to battle it. Strong and battle. But yeah, so like I said, folks, I'm just giving you a warning. The pictures are very um, <clears throat> disgusting pictures. I thought I'd talk about it to let you know because people might think, oh, she's on the doll. She don't want to work. I do want to work. It's just because I can't read and write very well. People maybe think, oh, I can't give her a job. She can't do it. Because I even tell people, just take me on as a trial and you can see and when they do take me on they realize i'm a good worker and i just to show because i know i'm on um universal credit now i don't get paid till march and then um, people might think oh look at her sitting there in the hotel room paying that, that they don't know because i'm selling stuff to pay for it and i'm told paul i said get them stuff on spock and facebook and take because i've sold me apple ipod and stuff like that 
and i said well just sell stuff to pay that's what i'm doing funding this paying stuff because once i get some i can always buy it back slowly no rush i'm not one of those oh i got a new flat i need new stuff i can buy it. even if people say Ange, i've got a bed you want it i would take it as long as it's clean because look i'm sleeping on the hotel bed somebody slept on it and somebody say oh i've got a fridge or a cookie you can have just give us a 10 or 20 quid i would take it i'm not proud so yeah so that's it folks so i thought i'll let you know so just um be aware the pictures are not very nice i'm going to show you and then afterwards and then i thought i'll let you know what what it was like yesterday but i'm not going to go back because she's if she paid me properly says so straight the money and i checked and the money was in there and it was good amount i don't i don't expect thousands even if she said Ange, well, i can pay you a hundred pound a day i would say yeah that's fine because the, the shit you would even more but that and i would say yeah fine but 80 pound for a week no i don't think that's that's fair even if she said 100 pound and and something like that because even kev said no not so she's she hasn't paid me for yesterday she want me to go back today and then pay me 80 pound tomorrow so i'll be doing two days in that now it's um i'm not um mm -mm. i know i'm desperate but not that desperate to go like that getting piss taken that was piss take that was so folks i thought i'd let you know so um keep you up and i know s some comments was there when i said um people might be getting fed up and there was a lot of people said they're not fed up it's good to keep keep you informed so i'm glad you were i thought maybe people get but now just to let you know and like kev said it's good to do this video because if anybody's in that situation, they're watching it, they think, oh, that's what I can do then. This is what I can do, which is true, because help. And just be careful when you do the um, landlord, because I was told again that there is a lot of it going around. Is Because a man said to me, there is, and the lady on Facebook said she got done and it was somebody's house. And when she went, the person said, oh, there's a house there. She went, they said, no, we live here. So there is a lot of that scamming going on. See, private landlords, in it, Because no more housing. So private landlords buy it up and then just just um, do what they like. So yeah, folks, so I thought I'd let you know. And I'll keep you in touch, see what happens tomorrow. Hope he gets back to me because i got to wait and then try and get down there. Get some money to get there. Because i got to take taxi because I don't know where the places are. And I don't want to get there late and then... I want to get there early, look at it and then say, yeah. Because my friend thought, when you go view and you get the place, I said, no, you go view it. They look at your your situation. Or some, I don't know what they do. Look how much you can afford it and this and all that stuff. And then they email you and say, yeah, the landlord accept your applicant and, and go. So it's not like that. Just go and get it straight. I wish it was because of the stuff I saw. I would have took it straight away. But yeah, so that's it. Now I'm going to go out in a minute and try and on some numbers and see what happen and i'm gonna walk i gotta go back to the library to get me libby card because i like to listen to my books to keep me mind and then i'll walk down that side i think because what i do when i go i go do a straight line so i don't get lost in combat so i'll have a look and then we'll see what happens later on or tomorrow but yeah so <sighs> we'll see what happens and just keep plodding on soon it be i just keep back on my mind i just keep thinking next year soon come next year it's, this year's start off bad but next year there's always next year <laughs> but okay folks i thought i'll let you know so be careful when you watch this um i'm putting the pictures up just be careful it is horrible so if you got stomach just and you will realize and i was in that cleaning and, and as you can see at the end of it I did my best and I didn't have much cleaning things. She didn't, like Kev Kev said, she didn't even prepare for me. She didn't even buy cleaning stuff for me. The mop was horrible. I had to rinse the mop. Shovel out to shovel the stuff up and everything. So, yeah. Okay, folks. So, I'll keep you in touch. And hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And hope that the video at the end of it don't put you off. It is horrible. But it's like them program that gr grime, life of grime. That's what it, life of grime, yeah. Okay. Oh, folks. All right. You take care. And from all of us, cheers. Yeah.